Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Van Rensburg and I am a community health educator from Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Today, I wanna to talk with you about the importance of colorectal cancer prevention. And to do this, I brought along colorectal education and cancer exhibitor, or more affectionately known as Cece. But before we begin, let's talk about two things together. One, what is the colon? And two, where is it in our bodies? The colon is a part of the large intestine, which is the lower part of your body's digestive system. It is very important because it absorbs water and nutrients from the foods we eat. Well, let's take a closer look. When we eat food, it goes from our mouth to our stomach. It then goes through these long tubular canals we call the small intestine. Well then finally, this top part here, this is the colon or large intestine, and it's where we are right now. So now that we know what the colon is and where is it in our bodies, let's talk about what does normal colon tissue look like or colon tissue without cancer. Take a look at the colon wall. Notice it's flat, it's pink, and very smooth. This is normal colon tissue. So when we eat high fiber foods like our vegetables, drink lots of water, and are physically active, getting at least 30 minutes of physical activity per day, that includes walking. We are encouraging a healthy environment for colon tissue. On the other hand, when we regularly don't drink enough water, eat a lot of processed and or red meats, and are physically inactive, we are not encouraging a healthy environment for colon tissue. So why does this matter? Lifestyle choices. Lifestyle choices make a huge impact on our health, and that includes colorectal cancer prevention. When we continuously choose not to drink enough water, eat a lot of processed and or red meats, physical inactivity, we are not encouraging a healthy environment for colon tissue. And in return, we increase our risk for abnormal growths in the colon. Let's discuss this further. Abnormalities. When I say abnormalities, I'm talking about things that are not normal to colon tissue. We'll take a look at the colon wall here. Notice this balloon-like structure coming from the colon wall. These are called polyps. Polyps are abnormal growths that we find in the colon or large intestine. Now there's two types of polyps we want you to be familiar with, starting with these ones. These are called benign polyps. Benign is a fancy way of saying not currently dangerous. In other words, these polyps are abnormal growths, but they're not going to turn into cancer at this point. However, doctors still worry about benign polyps because some benign polyps might turn into another type of polyp. Let's take a closer look. Take a look at these. Notice that these polyps look different than the benign polyps I showed you before. These are called malignant polyps. Malignant is a fancy way of saying currently dangerous. In other words, these polyps are actually early stages of colorectal cancer. And if left untreated, they can progress into advanced stage colorectal cancer. Let's move forward. Like I said before, lifestyle choices make a huge impact on our health. And some people are just more prone to developing polyps than other people. Well, why is that? Well, there's at least two reasons. Chronic or long-lasting diseases unique to the colon can increase our risk for polyp growth. Take a look at this. Diseases like Crohn's disease, which is depicted here, diverticulitis, Lynch syndrome, and other related diseases all increase our risk for polyp development. And in addition to that, having a family history of colorectal cancer can also increase our risk for polyp growth. So talk with your doctor to see if this might be true for you. And if it is, a doctor will likely recommend that you need to be screened at a younger age. We'll talk about screenings in a moment, but for now, let's move forward. Let's talk about advanced stage colorectal cancer. And to do this, let's take this segment into three parts, starting with this. This is advanced stage colorectal cancer. Notice that the malignant polyps have now turned into this large, hard structure. This is what we want to avoid. 
because as cancers grow older, they become more difficult to treat. Let me give you another example. Take a look at the colon wall. Notice that this advanced stage cancer is unique because it has moved from one side of the colon wall to another. And in fact, this colorectal cancer has moved to outside the colon wall. Let's take a closer look. When cancer cells break away, they sometimes travel to new areas of the body and form new cancers. This process is called metastasis and it makes treating cancer very difficult. In fact, in Washington state right now, colorectal cancer is the fourth most common cancer, but it's the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths. So what do we do? How do we prevent these polyps from turning into these advanced stage cancers? Well, to do this, to answer this question, let's talk about the importance of screenings. Like I said before, lifestyle choices make a huge impact on our health. And in addition to that, the key to colorectal cancer prevention is through regular screenings. A screening is a preventative test, and it looks for cancer before a person has any signs or symptoms. So unless you have a long lasting disease unique to the colon or a family history of colorectal cancer, a doctor will likely recommend that you should be screened starting at age 50. Now there's several types of colorectal cancer screenings out there, but we want you to be familiar with at least two of them. Starting with this one, fecal immunochemical test kit, but you can call it a fit kit. A fit kit is a take home test. Fit kit is usually recommended start once a year, starting at age 50. You can receive a fit kit from your healthcare provider. You can either pick one up in person or have it delivered through you through the mail. Once you receive your fit kit, you use the device to collect a small amount of stool. You then send the completed fit kit back through the mail. Doctors are analyzing the fit kit to see if there's any unusual blood or cells in the stool that may be caused by polyps. Remember, polyps can be a key indicator for colorectal cancer. So, if polyps are detected, doctors will usually recommend another type of screening. And it's the second screening I want to talk with you about today. Let's talk about a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is another preventative test. It's a procedure where a doctor uses a thin, flexible, lighted tube with a camera on it to look inside the entire colon wall. Doctors are looking for polyps. If polyps are detected, doctors can remove polyps from the colon wall. So, unless otherwise recommended, doctors will usually recommend that you screen for a colonoscopy once every 10 years, starting at age 50. Wow. We have covered a large range of topics today about colorectal cancer. And I gotta say, talking about cancer, it can be overwhelming. But I wanna remind you that colorectal cancer is one of the most preventable cancers. You yourself can make a difference through lifestyle choices and through regular screenings. So please, take active measures in your health. Start by talking with a healthcare provider to see if screenings are right for you. If you are interested in more information about colorectal cancer, you may also visit the National Cancer Institute's website at www.cancer.gov or visit their Cancer Information Service line at 1-800-4-CANCER. I want to thank you so much for your time today. And please remember, stay safe and stay healthy.